Good morning, guys. Um, so I just woke up a little bit ago, and I woke up, um, I think I told this to you guys in the late in last, in yesterday's vlog, but about how I just knew today was going to be a better day. Well, friend Steven ended up texting me last night, um, and he sent me some links to to worship songs and I've never heard them before. One of them was by Hillsong, another one, I don't even know who the other one was by, but it was so good. And I listened to them literally right before I fell asleep and I woke up like a different person. I don't even know how to describe it, but it was, I woke up just like so free, like so out of pain and like so Almost that I just felt like really loved. I would highly recommend doing that if you're feeling like down or even like to get in a good habit. Because what an amazing feeling, you know? Who doesn't want to wake up that way every day? Anyway, I just had to share. I'm going to take Blue on a walk and um, get the day started before it gets too hot because of this heat wave. It's crazy. And, um, yeah, check back in later with you guys. A little car vlogging as I wait in traffic. Um, oh, not anymore. Hold on. Hold on! Got, got stuck in an intersection. That's like my worst nightmare. If you guys live in LA or live in a big city where it kind of matters, like you have to kind of time um, your intersection crossings to see if you're going to make it. Well, my light was green when I went through it, and it ended up going to yellow and to red and I didn't make it in and I people are honking and you know what it's like when it's green it's like you don't even think about it because it's like you just go you know what I mean like maybe I should think about it I don't even know but I just got done at Costco and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but I got in an argument with someone today and it was when I was walking blue and I was walking him so there's like a Ralph's right um what is going on? Some people do not, shouldn't, and do not know how to drive. So I'm going to get into the other lane. Into the other lane because some people do not know how to drive. Okay. I was walking blue, and here I'll lift these up so you can kind of see. Um, but that's not. <clears throat> in a, the Ralph's parking lot because the Ralph's parking lot kind of leads to like another little neighborhood behind me where I like to walk him. And I normally don't go through Ralph's but there was another dog on the other path and I was like you know what I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the barking. I just don't want to do it. So I didn't. Yet I had to deal with another person and Blue is getting really big. He's getting very large and in charge and it's very hard for me to control him sometimes. Um, when he is on the leash because he's he's the puppy and he's gonna pull and he's gonna do all that sorts of stuff, right? So he is really tugging on the leash like so much that I'm like tripping over myself trying to get him like in control. So I like tug on the leash, I make a correction, and I'm like blue, and I keep walking, and clearly like people can see I'm struggling with the dog. This lady pulls up right next to me, coming out of Ralph's, and she says you need to stop strangling your dog. It's 90 degrees outside with like 110% humidity and I'm at my period. So, yeah. I said, I think you need to mind your own business. And she said, what did you just tell me? And I just kind of like went on my merry way. Thank goodness I was like rounding a corner at that point because I did not want to deal with that. Like, okay. I can see if I was like yelling at him and he was like cowering and like it was just like that you know what I mean like you could see that I was being very abusive to my dog by hitting him no I made like a little correction and she freaked she freaked she felt like it was her business to say something now and then I'm at Costco and that was a whole nother scene of idiots people cutting people off just like the rules don't apply to some people you know like life rules don't apply manners social skills, space, <clears throat> especially when you're in line, just little things like that. 
so that's a little bit of a car rant. Um, it is 93 degrees outside and I am so hot. You guys don't understand. I don't know what it is about this heat in particular, but it's so aggravating to me because I'm like ghostly. Can you see how white I am right now? I'm ghostly because you're not getting any sun. It's just heat. There's no point to this heat. There is point to heat in the summer when you're like laying out, you're getting tan, you're getting all like nice and glowy. There's no point to this because you can't get tan anymore because the sun is like far, you know, it's like fall sun. It's like not possible. Like, you know, you lay out in winter at like some random places and it's like really hard to get tan because it's just, the sun isn't right. That's what it's like. And it's, so there's no point to this. So I'd rather it be, you know, sunny, but cold. My hair is in a ponytail and it looks disgusting and I just watched it yesterday and this is ridiculous. You know those moments where you like, <laughs> you remember you bought a song, okay, this isn't, no one can relate to this because no one's as dumb belly as I am, but bought a song on iTunes and it's by Cold War Kids and it's called First and it was on the Aloha trailer. All of my songs that I get are basically from movie trailers that are on TV. Um, and I forgot that I bought it and I was so excited to listen to it in the car and like literally like a block away I remembered so I like quickly like turned my Bluetooth on and did all that and I literally like didn't even get to like jam out to it. Like windows down, rolling, like everyone's gonna listen to that song in my vicinity, you know, that sort of thing. It's disappointing. It's not the same when you're doing it in an empty parking garage with an old man parked next to you. Hi guys. Um, I can't remember if I ended up telling you what we decided to do for Vegas, but, um, we decided that, um, I, it would honestly be best for me to stay here because he made a commitment, which I totally understand to the team and he didn't want to back out. Um, I could have brought blue, but he would have ended up staying inside for most of it in the hotel room because there's no way that I'm going to bring my dog out into like 110 degree heat. I'm just not going to do that. So anyway, he's going and he's leaving tomorrow, which is Friday. Then he's gonna come back either Sunday or Monday. Not sure what day yet. Um, but I mean, it's disappointing because I love Vegas and I really wanted to go and spend some time with him, just have a good time. Um, but you know what? Sometimes life doesn't work out the way you want it to, right? So, um, I'm going to stay here and not sure. I may go home, but I just feel like the gas and just, oh, I don't know if I want to deal with the hassle with blue, having to wash blue and just a new environment. So, honestly, I'll probably just stay here and, um, get probably a lot of packing done because um, the end of September is when we're hopefully gonna finalize what we're doing with a house. And so after that, we're kinda gonna need to get a move on with the packing. So this weekend I'll probably need to do a lot of that. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I ordered a spit test, I think I did, um, hormone horm hormonal spit test. And so that should be coming might be in today's mail, but for sure it'll be in tomorrow's. Um, so I'll I'll be when I get that. I think it's gonna be maybe a week, a week and a half, according to my when my cycle is. I think that I'm gonna be doing it. So um, that's pretty much it. That's all that's new here. Um, I will talk to you all later. I'm gonna end it here and enjoy the rest of my night. Bye. Like I said before, like. starting it again is so hard.